Before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment the word of the day down below. What's the word of the day, Breezy? Chicken wings. Chicken wings, man. We're going to tell y'all why in a second, but that's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, look, we didn't make the 10K views per video. We're going to drop it down this month. If we can average 8K views per video, we're going to be giving away a next-gen console, uh, whether it be a PlayStation or an Xbox, whatever y'all want. That's number one. Number two, every single week, we just paid out to Ed Smith. Look, every single week, we're giving away $50 in cash out, $50 in VC, or um, or a, a copy of a video game, whatever y'all want, man, as long as it's extra regular ass edition. That's number two. Number three, the bots are back. They trying to put them, they, they, they acting like I'm putting my phone number in the comment section. I'm not putting my phone number in the comment section. All I got is Instagram, Twitter, and Black Planet. That's all I got. And I also got Breezy in the background holding the chat down. Yay! Breezy. Look, she she wanted to tell y'all about something. The, oh, the other reason, uh, uh, hold on, let's get started. With all that out of the way, good morning out there in 2K land. Y'all might want to wonder why Breezy is in the background holding the chat down. Look, man, the reason the word of the day is chicken wings is simply because of this. Chick-fil-A is selling chicken wings. Bridget, how are they? I love me some Chick-fil-A. Mm-hmm. But the wings are not Fussing. Um, I was just, I was expecting like you know how they Chick Fil A sandwiches are great. Yeah. But the chicken wings they are good, but I feel like they're like wings that you could get from like a buffet. Yeah. Site or whatever. So the like, soda. Like look at the chicken. Hold up the chicken. We're gonna hold up one of the chicken wings yeah. for y'all real so quick. So like it has the breading from Chick Fil A mm -hmm. on it, but like the flavor um, itself just sounds like something you would get off of a buffet. So. You know, they give you different sauces that you can mix it up yourself. With, mm -hmm. But uh, it's, it's basic. It's basic. It's basic. All right, so Bridget said the chicken wings is basic, man. So if you out there and you trying to, uh, if you out there and you trying to get you some chicken wings or whatever, man, make sure y'all know, don't stand in line. Don't go up there at 1030 when they open and all of that. You're not missing anything because it's pretty much. It's only in Georgia right now. And it's only in Georgia right now, but pretty much. They basic. That's what she's saying right there. Speaking of uh, ba not basic, I'm just joking, man. Hey, the boy power the up. Oh, we getting started. Wait a minute, man. Why is this not on the monitor that, I, that it's supposed to be on? Oh, hold on one second. I got to change this thing. Look, we talking about chicken wings. I get hungry in here. There we go. The boy power DF. That boy power DF says, don't let people put you in a box. Speaking of chicken wings, don't let people put you in a box you don't want to be in. Clearly them chicken wings from Chick-fil-A did not want to be in that box right there. I'm not going to capulate to you. Boy, them things look like some. They, I ain't going to lie, man. They they got the Chick-fil-A bread, but they kind of like something that come from Quincy's. Y'all remember Quincy's and, uh, and uh, Golden Corral, Golden Corral still around, uh, Western Sizzler, Ryan's, all that. It's just like this, the, the buff, it's like almost like the buffet drum mix, man. That's how they was to me, man. But don't let them, them wings clearly didn't want to be in that box. Don't let nobody put you in a box you don't want to be in. Up next, we got the boy Quavo Quavo. In y'all's opinion, what is the best guard in NBA 2K23? I'm not going to lie to you. It really depends on what you want to do and what you're trying to do. Uh, what, what's going to be the best guard in the game? Some people love the 6'7 because it gives you the, the mobility and the uh, it gives you the mobility of the 6'1 kind of ish. So you got more speed, but then you can also finish close to the 6'9". So you got speed closer to the 6'1", but you're finishing closer to the 6'9". Some people like the 6'1", because you can shoot from half court and under half court and all that good stuff. And like, you just can't be defended. You got excellent speed, pretty much excellent everything. Some people like that. Some people like the 6'9", uh, because, because he can shoot, dribble, and when he go to get to that rim, he gonna be ferocious. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Now, some people like the 6'4", because you really got the speed of the 6'1", but then you also finishing and shooting like, you know, shooting like the 6'1", but you finishing like a uh, taller build. So it really depends on what the play style is, man. I don't think that there's any one best build, and I believe that that is for the better with this game because we want to promote variety, we want to promote team play, but then we always, you know, we the 2K community. We want the best build, best this, best that, and uh, you know, that's how we want to do it. Up next, we got that boy Domo saying, let's be real, no matter what game come out, people always gonna have something bad to say because they can't adapt. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that's always a two-headed coin because sometimes people got stuff bad to say because the game is ass, and then sometimes people got, got uh, you know, they got something bad to say because they cannot adapt. And to those people, you know what we say, say it with me in the chat, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Just learn how to adapt to the game and let's play it and figure it out. My only issue is like, like at this point in the game, if people were to come out 
and have issues with 2K and talk about it and do that stuff now, if they waited to this point to do all of that, I wouldn't have a real problem with it. But you got people day one talking about pretty much I can't do what I was doing at the end of last year, day one of an entirely new game because the game is different. And, 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 and it's like, bro, you asked for a different game, but when they made the game, like when they made 18 and 19 and everybody was like, man, the game is pretty much the same other than, you know, it's the same deal. They just kind of upgraded it. And then 19 to 20, y'all was talking about the same neighborhood and all that good stuff. So we complain when it's the same game. We complain when it's not the same game, when it's something different. They try to give us a new experience and people just don't want to deal with it. So like I said, if people waited till now to do it, I can understand more, but because so many people just just bitched and complained from the jump, it's kind of falling on deaf ears to the to the uh to everybody, including the devs, because the devs is like, bro, y'all didn't even give the game a chance. So like, what are we gonna do? And to them, this is their artwork, this is their baby. So you can't just come out here and insult my baby and think it's just gonna be all good. But you know, it is what it is. I understand what he's saying, man. And uh, you know, that's dope. Up next, we got the boy Steve Nash out here dancing. They say Steve Savage is Steve. Steve Nash is a savage. Thank God I don't have to deal with Kyrie anymore. Hashtag bless. Come on, man. I don't know if that was real Steve Nash uh, Tiki Taki or whatever, but it looked like it was, man. It did appear to be legit. Y'all let me know if he really did that uh, on there. Up next, we got the boy King Jordan talking about, I just played an invisible player and lost. Is anybody going through this? And yeah, a couple people put the joint up there yesterday. Talking about the invisible players, one person had sent it to me and they were saying if you put on a particular shirt or whatever, um, I think it was like the Halloween, the orange Halloween shirt or something like that, then you was invisible. And uh, some other people were saying it's the orange and black skeleton that's doing it. Obviously on current gen, there are several things that are causing this, this, um, this thing and uh, you know 2K, we got to get on that immediately, man, immediately and get that thing fixed because nobody's trying to go through that all year. And you, it's just like in Apex Legends, kind of like you might have to disable that thing until we get it fixed because in Apex Legends they used to have they had the Olympia the Olympic Wraith skin and she couldn't get like if you shot her in the head on that then she would not take damage at all. And you know, Wraith, she ran like this anyway. So it was already hard to, sh to shoot Wraith when she was coming at you. So people would actually, uh, EA put out a thing saying, don't use the skin, please, honor system, blah, blah, blah. Bro, that skin became one of the most top selling skins of all time. And for like, two, you know, for two weeks, everybody was trying to use it and this and that. EA had to shut that skin down. Same thing that Riot have to do. They find they find stuff with the skin. They have to shut it down and make it so you can you can buy it, but you can't use it. It's banned from the game. Then when they fix the glitch, they do it. 2K might have to do something like that once they identify it and get that done, man. Up next, we got the boy Badger Luggy uh, saying, "My logo was just confirmed, not coming back. Had one for two hours. Am I still paid by 2 Hey, and you know what I'm saying? Hey, my bad. I didn't mean to hit the mic. And he said the good times. He just said this was October 21st, 2K League, bro. <laughs> Y'all silly, man. 2K League, bro. 2K League, bro. Uh, go cop a pair, whatever, whatever, the shorts and all that stuff, man. Bro, this dude silly, bro. Hey, it is what it is, yo. You know they always thinking that we, you know, people paid by 2K and all of that stuff, man. That's the popular thing. <laughs> How much is 2K paying you? Is they paying you this much? Are they paying you that much? Or you must be really paid by 2K to do that. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Most of y'all are sell out to 2K for 20 to a 25 cents in VC. Yep, he doing it. He cheating. He cheating. This person that doing that. This was 25 VC. And most of y'all is going to sell out to 2K. And y'all be talking about if somebody, if, if, that's, that, I'm not making thousands of dollars from 2K. But if I was and I did sell out to 2K, could you blame me? Not selling out to 2K wouldn't be paying my bills. So, I, I, I mean, it just is what it is. If that's what a person wants to do and go the 2K route, number one, is it really selling out? And then number two, uh, it's like, it's like you know, that's what they want to do. They got to they gotta deal with the consequences. They got to pay their own bills. They got to do all that stuff, man. So, eh, it is what it is, man. I let people make their own decisions. I ain't going to never knock nobody hustle. And all I'm going to do is just say, hey, man, do what you want to do. And as long as you're not doing it to the detriment of the game, yourself, and others, I ain't got no problem with it, man. Do your thing, big dog. Do your thing. But like you said, I don't think none of us paid by 2K. I, I, I damn sure ain't. I mean, if I could get some of them checks, then I probably wouldn't be grinding and putting out two videos a day and, and, and 
not getting nothing for it. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all can't even get y'all. I can't even pay y'all to hit the like button. I'm inviting hundreds of people to my park so they can so they can get the trick or treating done early. Cause 2K, you know, you gotta be up at 12 at midnight, and I can't even get some likes. So you know it is what it is, man. Up next, we got that boy grinding. He talking about. I never thought I'd see a three point shooter with a zero percent three pointer. And that's zero percent, zero percent. And you know he done played some games too because he averaged 9.5 points per game. Maybe he just played two games, but I, I don't think that he played two games in average. You know, like, you know, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I done seen some abysmal three point percentages out there, but that one has taken the cake. Up next, we got that boy grinding again, talking, bro, I didn't even know that this was a thing. Elon Musk said, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter's current lowest and peasant system for those who, uh, for who and who doesn't have a check mark is bullshit. Po uh, power to the people, blue for $8 a month. Bro, I thought this was fake. I went to Leon, uh, the Elon Musk Twitter and it was real. And then like that, bro, this right here, bro, this, come on, Nate, come on, baby, you better than this, man. He said, so I can create an account with a celebrity name, pay $8, and everyone will believe I actually, I mean, I am actually this person. How on earth will this help in the fight against spam, impersonating, and, and social media? Bro, number one, who would even think to do that? Like, you got to be, like, I ain't saying he in a scammer's mindset, but who would even think about doing that? Number two, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna have to go through several verification steps in order to prove that you are who you say you are. So like for somebody like me, I'm Jay Easy, and I might I might just now start doing this thing and uh, you know, I'm trying to get all of my stuff done. And a lot of times what people will do is go and take your handle very early on all the social media platforms and try to leverage them against you. Uh, and so a lot of times, you know, it, it would help for somebody who's on the rise to be able to be like, no, like for right now, I'm the real Jay Easy. None of them guys that's telling you they on Telegram or none of that, that's not me if you don't see it. So it would help a lot in that case uh, for smaller people to be able to get it. I understand where they going with it, but come on, man, why you go to the scammer way right off the dick, bro? Come on, man. Up next, we got that boy Kasey. What's more toxic, the car community arguing the game is fine or the 2K community arguing that the game is fine? Genuinely wanna know because both sectors are funny as an ML. And I think it's more funny people bitching about the game being bad when it's clearly not. I think that's even funnier. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. I like this, I like this one right here though. When one dude says content creators, constant negativity. If you don't like what you're playing or make content about, simply move on. I really respect that one. That's what I did last year with 2K22. I didn't really like the game. I moved on and played something else. And dude say the 2K and the COD community both have devs that don't listen, but 2K is much worse. I don't believe that, but you know it is what it is, man, because a lot of times they don't listen, man, because they don't want to slant the game in the way of the competitive community, which only comprises about one and a half percent of the people. Look, 90% of the people that play Call of Duty have a 0.8 KD or less. There's only 10% of the people that live in the rarefied era where they got um, a 1.0 or better. So, you know, they, they they looking at the people that have the lesser KDs and try to how to, how to make the game fun for them because if I play with those people, I'm gonna rise to the top by proxy. The game don't have to be slanted in a certain way for me. And it's something that it took me a very long time to learn and to get and to understand why devs do the thing that they do. But like I said, people are always talking about these games are casual, but the game by nature is casual. You don't respawn when you get when you get up out of here. And, and you know, just like you don't dunk the basketball every play, you don't shoot threes every play, you don't routinely pass up twos for, for a better looking three. You don't do any of that. In basketball, you taste just like like Madden, you don't go for it on every fourth down and all of that. So that by the fact that it's a game, it is casual in nature, by nature. So you know it is what it is, man. I don't understand, man. I think people bitching is funnier than anything. And last but not least, we got this boy saying he scored called Community Clips. That boy say he scored 11 points in 54 seconds. 54 of them things, man. Let's see what we got, man. Pull up, trays up, splash down. Okay, okay, 11, okay. In 54 seconds, what's she, what else she got? Let me get that, let me get that still. Get on there, oh, lay, lay me. Play, yeah, 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 
The spam steal right there. He didn't get it. Oh, he got the second spam steal. Okay. The dude ran into two people. Trades up. Splash down fader. Cash. Pipe it up. I got a price on reserves. How you gonna get that last bucket? How you gonna get the last one? Oh, it looks like a two on one. Okay, that's a little foul. This is a little foul and foul. What he, what he gonna do though? I think they're gonna get him into a two on one situation and he's gonna get another steal. No, he, oh, I thought he was gonna steal that one out of the air. Oh, he got the steal. He's cold, ladies and gentlemen. Trades up. Fader. Jordan fades back. Oh, hey, oh. And it counts. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. That was a good little montage right there. I ain't gonna calculate to you. Clearly playing. You gotta be playing, uh, guys, that, um, a lot of people come out there and they don't have the dribbling and then you can just completely take advantage of it and I'm not going to lie to you. I test people's badges. I know that it might, y'all might feel like it's not a great way to play, but if I see a tall dude and he does a very slow crossover, I'm going to test his badges and see if he's got unpluckable on something high and uh, if he does, then I'm not reaching for the rest of the game because I know they're not going to give it to me, but if he doesn't, he's got no business handling the ball and, by su and, and, and as such, I'm going to uh, make sure that he knows that he has no business handling that rock for the rest of the game. He can't even get it. I just like, I can't get it. I can't dribble it. When I get it, you see what I do? Pass fake, throw it to Brutal Gambit. That's what I do. Get that ball out my hand. That's what I do. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Comment chicken wings down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, man, if you get the chicken Chick-fil-A chick, chicken wings, let me know what y'all think. But if you haven't been able to get them, you ain't missing that, man. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. <coughs> It's your boy, J.E. Why are you coughing in my video? It me too. It's... <laughs> oh, I love Bridget, man. Breezy in the background holding the chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Guys,